Hello viewers, welcome to this video on NS3. In previous video, we have talked about the second.cc file. And in this video, we'll talk about the third.cc file. We'll see the different ways to run the third.cc file. We'll see that how we can expand the default network topology and all of the stuff. But before that, if you are new to this video, then you might want to check out our previous videos. For that, I'll link the link of the playlist in the description box. You should check out that. So, without wasting much time, let's get started with today's topic. In previous video, I might have missed this step or not. I'm not sure but let's start from very start. The first step is to copy the third.cc file from the example slash tutorial folder to ns3.37 slash scratch folder. For that, we can fire the command from ns3.37 folder, which is cp space dot slash examples slash tutorials slash third.cc space dot slash scratch slash my third.cc. By doing this step, you can ensure that the actual file is safe at the original place and you will not alter that file. And also, renaming the file make sure that you identify it correctly. Now talking about the third.cc file. It's all about the understanding of Wi-Fi helper channel and the connection between point to point, Wi-Fi helper and common bus. As you might now be aware of the most of the code written in it, starting from the default network topology, you can easily visualize the topology that will be by default generated by the code. If you will observe the starting of the code, then you can easily get that it is just ensuring minimum and maximum requirements of the nodes in Wi-Fi and also the common bus channels. Then most of the code is same as you can map it with the general code structure that we have discussed in our very first video. For someone who is new to this video, I'll suggest that you should watch our previous videos. Now let's run the file. For the simplest command, which is dot slash ns3 space run space my third from the folder dot slash ns3.37, it will run the my third dot cc file which is inside the scratch folder with a very basic configuration. Now if we want to use more CSMA nodes, so we can do it by expanding the command like this dot slash ns3 space run and in quotes my third space hyphen hyphen and n csma is equals to the number of CSMA nodes that we want. Let's say we want 100 CSMA nodes, so we can write 100 and then end of quote and by firing this command we can manipulate the number of CSMA nodes in the file. Now similarly, suppose we want more Wi-Fi STA nodes, then by following the same code structure or you can say by following the same command structure, you just need to write hyphen hyphen n Wi-Fi in place of hyphen hyphen n CSMA and is equals to the number of Wi-Fi STA nodes that you want. But you need to make sure that uh, the maximum number of Wi-Fi STA nodes that you can put over here which is equals to 80. No more than that you can put over here. So in order to use more Wi-Fi STA nodes you can fire this command. Now the beauty of extension of command is that we can also combine both above ways to customize the number of CSMA nodes and the number of Wi-Fi nodes by doing in quotes NC hyphen hyphen N CSMA equals to the number of N CSMA nodes that we want and space hyphen hyphen N Wi-Fi N is equals to the number of Wi-Fi nodes that we want which is looks like this. 
they made the code such uh, with ease that for enabling the packet capturing for the nodes in .cc file then we can use the following command which is dot slash ns3 space run space in brackets my third space hyphen hyphen tracing equals to true and end of the code which enables the tracing of packet capturing equals to true which means it will generate the packet capture file or you can say dot pk file for the third dot cc and you can observe it so these are some of the ways by which you can run the third dot cc file now the only utility left which is net enum for observation of animation for this third dot cc file you first need to make sure that necessary header files net enum hyphen module and mobility hyphen modules are added then you just need to copy and paste the below command or you can say the below code for generating dot xml file before the simulator dot run now just run the file once with the most basic command that we have seen and then find the third dot xml file inside the ns3.37 folder now by following the steps from previous videos open the dot xml file in net enum now we can open that file and start the animation and observe by means of animation so that's the beauty of my playlist that if you are following it from the beginning then you can uh, follow me along in any video so that's how you run the third dot cc file now as we have covered the most basic things from ns3 so from the next video we'll start learning to write the ns3 scripts from the scratch for the given scenarios for this video let's just keep it till here we'll meet in the next video soon till then keep learning and keep exploring